first reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 18, verses 23 to 28. Apollos showed by the scriptures that the Christ was Jesus. After spending some time at Antioch, Paul departed and went from place to place through the region of Galatia and Phrygia, strengthening all the disciples. Now a Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, came to Ephesus. He was an eloquent man, well versed in the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord and being fervent in spirit, he spoke and taught accurately the things concerning Jesus, though he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue. But when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him and expounded him the way of God more accurately. And when he wished to cross Achaya, the brethren encouraged him and wrote to the disciples to receive him. When he arrived, he greatly helped those who through grace had believed, for he powerfully confuted the Jews in public, showing by the scriptures that the Christ was Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 46. Your response. God is king of all the earth. All peoples, clap your hands. Cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord, the most high, we must fear. Great king over all the earth. Your response, God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is king over the nations. God reigns on his holy throne. Your response, God is king of all the earth. The princes of the peoples are assembled with the people of Abraham's God. The rulers of the earth belong to God, to God who reigns over all. Your response, God is king of all the earth. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 16, verses 23 to 28. The Father loves you because you love me and believe. Jesus said to his disciples, Truly, truly, I say to you, if you ask anything of the Father, he will give it to you in my name. Hitherto, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be full. I have said this to you in figures. The hour is coming when I shall no longer speak to you in figures, but tell you plainly of the Father. In that day, you will ask in my name, and I do not say to you that I shall pray the Father for you, for the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have believed that I came from the Father. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Again, I am leaving the world and going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to Lord Jesus Christ.